Are you on the east-west bag trend chain right now? Because <laughs> this is a Wilson's leather. Is this back in style? Let's talk about it. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel and if you're not new, hello everyone and welcome to the Babe Cave today. Let's talk about bag trends, the current ones, because I was just watching Cassie Thorpe about the east-west bag trend and I think they've started last year more people were getting, you know, the Christian Dior, you know, that was rectangle instead of a box meaning the east-west bag style I just wanted to show some contemporary brands that have the east-west style if you're interested in looking at those and I as she was showing some pictures of a of a brand that I wasn't sure of I'll pop a picture up over here and uh, show you that it looks kind of similar to my vintage now. I'm pretty sure this is 90s when I got this from Wilson's Leather. Double handle, definitely east-west. East-west. <laughs> and, you know, this is Wilson's Leather Company, which was in the mall. Uh, and silver hardware, double handles. It's kind of shiny, although it's not patent leather. It's kind of a crinkly leather, but this style seems to be what people are grabbing towards. So these you can probably find on the secondhand market. It has a, this is, I think maybe the style that's came back too is a longer shoulder drop on the double handles. See, it fits under your arm just fine. So this is my first... <laughs> East West that I have. Then I was thinking last year I was into baguettes and you know that kind of style like the Fendi baguette. Well you know Coach came out with you know these styles which is this style back in the 90s 2000s era and again, it's the East West. So they've kind of been integrating into, you know, my collection. I don't know if they've been coming into yours, but I have been gravitating towards shoulder bags with, that are East West. So this is my kind of a fuchsia, kind of a violet, more pinkish purple bag that I have with the silver hardware that's Coach. Um, another one that is this bag I got in 2009 or 10 and again it has the double handles with a longer drop that you can fit kind of over your arm. This one's not quite as long but it's also the east-west. It's not so squished like some of the newer ones are like this high but still <laughs> This is from 2009 or 10, and, you know, maybe this st style is uh, coming back. I don't know for sure, but I'm not sure the name of this one either, but it just has that, you know, the C's with the fabric. So, there's another one. Then I was thinking, at the beginning of this year, um, I also have noticed barrel bags, and those are long, round east-west type bags and I ended up getting this little cute fossil barrel bag <laughs> with the faux shearling. Now this one you know is a smaller version of the Louis Vuitton Papillon and it is just so cute. So yes another east-west version bag for contemporary and this is fossil. So yeah, don't sleep on contemporary brands. They they have these east-west options for a better price. Thousands less than luxury. 
then I was thinking last year, this is one of my, one of my favorites that I bought last year was the Morgan crossbody. And they, this was from the coach outlet site and they, they have Morgans that are the square, like half of this, but this is the East West with the silver hardware. It is the graffiti print mint and surf here's the bottom and i added this this chain i think some trends have now like this this shape with a top handle which i think i would really like <laughs> but this one of course has the shoulder and crossbody strap inside and that's what it looks like but yeah you can find the morgan bag you can find this morgan bag in different shades for spring, summer, winter, blacks, purples, all kinds that they have come out with these Morgan bags and they're, you can usually get them around a hundred and 150, you know, $150 has a nice back pocket. So another East West bag, you know, this one, I don't know, you know, this to me is also an East West bag this is my Tory Burch in the monogram here. I got, I traded this. This used to be Yoda styles. <laughs> you shouldn't have got rid of it. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this as a shoulder bag. And again, it's the East West and I like smaller bags. If you watch me at all, I tend to go for small to medium size bags with the exception of some bigger bags. Cause I am attracted to some of them sometimes too, but typically my day-to-day -day is a smaller type bag like this. And I have been, last year I think I bought more shoulder bags than crossbody bags. <laughs> so here is a Tory Burch version. Then I was looking at my Dooney and Burke pouch in Glacier Blue, and it has the detachable crossbody strap but east west I use my coach chain leather chain usually with this as a shoulder bag I mean it's these bags are super easy to carry so I do not mind this trend at all I like I like the rectangle versus the square it's really comfortable under your arm crossbody all of that the profile, this one is thin, dark trim. So that's my Dooney and Burke pouch, crossbody pouch. Here is my Dooney and Burke equestrian bag and I've showed this just recently. And this is east to west and it's a vintage Dooney and Burke. So you never know, trends come and go and come back around again from 10 years, 20 years from now, you know, there could be new versions of different styles, but really like this is an amazing style and the crossbody straps, I made like it's the way it sets up against your body. See how flat it is on the back. Again, this is a similar size to my coach Morgan let me get them in focus here the equestrian bag may be bigger slightly bigger but very similar <laughs> I mean the Dooney and Burke equestrian vintage and then the newer style you know Morgan crossbody very similar I had no idea but yeah this is an east-west bag and it's in navy blue and it's beautiful. And I got it for $60 <laughs> if you missed that video. This next one is Louis Vuitton. And it's not necessarily what's trending. They're a little bit smaller than this size. This is the Louis Vuitton Viva City GM. So it's the bigger size. and. If this was like maybe half of that, 
which the PM size, I'm not sure on, you know, the size of the PM, but I imagine it's shorter. But it has the rectangle shape, shoulder strap, <laughs> and it has the two lovely pockets up front that fit my phone really nice. Has the top zipper, red interior, but we're talking about East West, and this is really the only luxury bag that I have that is kind of East West because <laughs> it is rectangular shape. So those are just a few of the options that I already have some of the East West trend in my collection and there's more on other contemporary websites. I'll try to link some examples below if I find, you know, a Morgan bag, the Dooney bag, the, you know, a just look for the ones that are longer and shorter and kind of with the long, longer double strap or a shoulder strap. I, I really like the trend. Um, <laughs> I'll probably keep these bags even, you know, when they, they're not in trend because they are comfortable and I really like the style. I like the, the easiness, easiness to carry that most of these are. And who would, <laughs> Who would have thought that they made a expensive bag in the same similar shape with double handles? And this is just a a, Wil a Wilson's leather bag, and they still have a website, so uh, they still, I believe, sell handbags. But yeah, this one I don't know what year this came, what what year I got this, but yeah. So are you yeah, so in this East West trend? Do you like the? the rectangle versus the square bags. I mean, I feel like they are getting more and more traction that style. So, and I'm here for it. I don't know if you are, but I I like them. And I like my vintage bags. I like my newer bags that they've come out with. And uh, let me know some of your east-west shaped bags that you own. And do you have luxury bags? Do you have contemporary bags? What what do you have? <laughs> and uh, I appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and comment down below. And hit the bell so you won't miss any of my future videos. And yep, I am wearing a new Barbie t-shirt <laughs> just for fun today. But anyway, I appreciate you all for watching and I hope you like my east-west contemporary version here <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!